For my video, I chose the topic of groundwater pollution. For those of you who didn't know, groundwater is one of our most important natural resources and we use it every day. This resource can be found in layers of soil, sand, and rock which we call aquifers. From the aquifers, the groundwater is pumped through pipelines into our homes, schools, and workplaces. The importance of this resource is why I wish to raise awareness to prevent further contamination. Cause and Effect Groundwater contamination occurs when products such as gasoline, oil, road salts, and chemicals get into the groundwater and cause it to become unsafe for human use. These products are getting into the water in many different ways. For example, farmers contaminate groundwater by using pesticides in their agricultural practices which ends up leaking into the aquifers causing contamination. It is very important to be able to recognize the sources of groundwater pollution. There are four main categories of pollutants which are direct, indirect, man-made, and natural. Direct contaminants such as landfills and hazardous waste are the most common. Indirect contaminants include atmospheric pollutants through evaporation and petroleum fuels such as gasoline leaking into our groundwater. Man-made contaminants include septic systems which are filled with sewage and chemicals used on roads, in lawns, and around the home. Natural contaminants include animal waste, arsenic, and radon, which are both naturally present in some rocks. Now that we know how we contaminate it, let's discuss how contaminated groundwater can affect us. Drinking this poisoned water can cause various health-related issues. Serious illnesses have been reported such as gastrointestinal illness, reproductive problems, and neurological disorders. Infants, young children, pregnant women, the elderly, and anyone who has a weaker immune system are especially susceptible to illness from some of the contaminants. As you can see, these issues can become very severe, so let's talk about how to prevent groundwater pollution. Once groundwater is contaminated, it is a very costly process to purify the water. We can prevent contamination and save money using a few simple techniques which we can do from our home or even at work. One major way to help is to properly dispose of any chemicals you've used. Some of the common chemicals that are infecting the groundwater are lawn and garden chemicals, paints and paint thinners, disinfectants, medicines, and swimming pool chemicals. The reason people do not already just dispose of their chemicals properly is because they are lazy. Another simple way to prevent groundwater pollution is reducing or substituting the use of chemicals. One way you can do this is to buy native plants for your landscape because they do not need much water or fertilizer. Also, to substitute for cleaning supplies, you can use natural household cleaners such as lemon juice, baking soda, and vinegar. One other small thing we can do to make a difference is to not litter. Littering near lakes, oceans, and rivers is a direct contaminant which can be easily prevented. Groundwater is one of the most important natural resources and it is being contaminated every day due to the people's lack of effort. There are many ways to prevent groundwater pollution as previously stated and it is time for everyone to take initiative. Start managing your waste, reducing your chemical usage, and stop littering in order to maintain our natural resource of groundwater. We need to begin to realize the importance of this resource and work to keep it healthy for the safety of everyone.